hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is ty i am here to do a video on a few of the morphe brand um, palettes and brushes that i um, bought maybe about three or four weeks ago um i finally broke down and got some um i was seeing a couple of reviews that kind of had me a little leery at first um on youtube of people saying they were getting palettes that were like you know the um the shadows were broken or cracked or stuff like that so for a long time it kind of deterred me but i just kind of you know just said screw it and went ahead and bought some anyway because i followed them on instagram and i just love their products um i feel like they look really nice so i wanted to give them a try so i went ahead and ordered a couple things um, I'm going to go through all of the um, palettes that I purchased first. I did purchase five of them. Um, they all range between $19.99 and $22.99, I believe. Um, I will put a description link below um, also for all the different ones that I purchased, um, the names of them and the prices also, because I don't remember them all off the top of my head. So, um, number one to start, everything came wonderfully packaged, I must say. Um, they came in a box, obviously, <laughs> um, and the box had a bunch of the little, um, styrofoam pieces inside to make sure that nothing, you know, was broken or anything like that. Not only that, but in addition to all the styrofoam inside the box, they also came inside these little boxes and, um, let's see, I'm trying to show you, sorry, that look like this. And they all have the um, the number uh, palette that it is on the back. So like if it's like this one's a 35C, so it'd be like a 35C palette, so you know like which one is which. Um, inside of that inside of that box, they all came bubble wrapped. In addition to the styrofoam that was in the big, you know, packaged box, so I thought that was just wonderful. Um, nothing was broken or anything like that. So whatever they everything they did to make sure this got to me in one piece like kudos to morphe because i was so happy like i would have been so upset if i had to send anything back for it being broken but they really made sure that that was something that did not occur and i really appreciated that um so i'm gonna go ahead and get into all of the palettes first like i said um the first palette that i'm gonna be showing you is the 35b palette the 35b palette is really um colorful bright kind of reminds you of summertime and stuff like that i love bright colors and using bright colors so i just went on ahead and got this one um really good for summertime and stuff like that um or even now even still in wintertime i might wear some of these colors um just even underneath the waterline or something if i just want to add a pop of color but all the colors are super pigmented i'm just going to do a couple swatches for you guys on my finger sorry this stuff is just like ridiculous. This is a combination of like shimmer and um, matte colors, but that's even just like a swatch of some of those from this particular palette. But they are super, super pigmented. Like you kind of can't see those because they're like they're yellow. But um, here I'll do this purple. Like look at that. Like oh my god, it's like it's like life on my finger. Like literally. <laughs> um, let's see. The next one, sorry, I'm trying to wipe my hands off because I don't. I'm going to have all this on my white sheets and I'm going to be so mad at myself. This next one that I have is the, the 35D palette, excuse me. And this is more of like your uh, smoky colors. If you want to do smoky eyes or anything like super dark, this will be a wonderful palette. So if you love smoky eyes, definitely should get this. This is the only one that I have not used yet but um it's definitely worth it and it's also a mix of both shimmer and matte colors and some swipes from there the next palette that i have is the one that i actually use today for my makeup and this is the 35s and this palette is like also a combination of shimmer and matte um i use this color right here on the ends on my lid and then i put a little bit of this in the center of my eye and i use the black underneath my um, waterline and i added a little bit of this purple to kind of smoke out the black at the bottom but this palette is amazing um it's so pigmented like i don't know if you can see my makeup today but it's super super bright 
and it just it just looks really really pretty i'm trying to look down so you can kind of see but yeah i love it the next palette that i got is the 35c and it kind of reminds me of the first one i showed you it has a lot of bright colors but this one has a few darker shades and earth tones in here too peachy colors and stuff so this one's will be really really fun and um, a lot of these will be really good to use as transition colors also so that's always awesome um, to have that in um in a palette also because you'll just get to use those all the time you'll get your money's worth for sure the last and final palette that i have is my all-time favorite and this will probably be the one i use the most and it is a 35 n it's just a bunch of neutral and um bunch of neutral colors sorry and it's just so pretty like i just love all these colors because they're so everyday and um if you're the kind of person that's kind of you know um scared of using really really bright colors or just you know just in general like wanting to you know practice with makeup this would be a good palette to have as a starter in my personal opinion because it'll give you those you know soft nice neutral colors to kind of get you to work your way up to more you know bolder colors um if you will i also purchased some brushes from morphe and i just have to say these brushes are everything in life um they are extremely soft i have washed them now i think a total of two times and i have not had any shedding with them at all um very i use them just as much as my matte brushes and i think they're probably pretty com pretty comparable in my opinion for the price they're wonderful um, i don't know the price of each individual brush but i will link everything down below again the first brush i'm going to show is the m459 and this is a contour brush. This is really good for if you want to get right there in your contour area and then kind of brush it up. It just places the product exactly where you want it and it gets it just gets right into that little area just so that you can lay it down like in a perfect motion. Like I love this brush. And they're so soft and just dense and it just feels really good on the skin also. The second brush that I'm going to be showing is a eye brush and it's the um, M139 brush. It's just a fluffy, um, a fluffy, more kind of, I guess, more of like of a pointy fluff, fluffy brush. Excuse me. Um, I like to use these a lot when I'm, you know, putting color into my crease area here and even just to blend also. Um, it's wonderful for that. This third one is the M504 and it is a fluffier brush um i really like this brush it's probably like one of my favorite eye brushes that i did purchase from them honestly because they're all the brushes are so soft i know mean, y'all probably gonna hear me say that like 10 million times but they are all just so soft like i just cannot get over how soft they are and this is really good you know i always use this when i'm blending out color like up here or something you know just kind of going across and over that a lot wonderful the next one I'm going to show is the M135 brush and it is just a you know um, a larger kind of dome shaped brush. I like to use these when I'm packing on eyeshadow um, because the surface it covers you know has so much um, so much surface area to cover like the eye you can literally just you know dab it in there and just keep dabbing and it doesn't make it look cakey it just puts it on effortlessly. It's a really, really nice brush to have in your collection. The next one is going to be another eye brush, um, but it has a smaller surface. And you can use this, I guess, if you wanted to, to apply color to the lid, although I wouldn't just because it's it's so tiny, like it would take forever. What I would more so use this one for is the inner tear duct here if you want to apply color here. Or like today, I'll use it to kind of just, you know, smudge out color along my lower lash line. It's really good for that because it's really tiny and it can get into those little small areas. So this is great. It's the M508. Oop, about to drop it. And let's see. The next one that I got is the M431. It looks like this. It's a pencil brush. And it's super cute and just like it just gets right into those areas. I love to do a good cut crease. So this is good when I'm, you know, just trying to kind of carve it out in this in this area here and just kind of go in that kind of a motion to kind of sweep it inward to kind of create that crease. It's wonderful for that. Great brush. 
the front next brush is the m310 it's a um fan brush a mini fan brush um i have a large fan brush from bh cosmetics that i've had now for like three years but i don't have a small one and that's one of the reasons why i bought this because i'm like a highlight whore like oh my gosh i love highlight like i will literally put like five highlights on my face at one time if i could if i didn't look like an idiot i would just like just keep packing them on top of each other but this is good for when you're doing that and you just want to kind of get in this little area here like so and just kind of brush that in there so you can add your highlight and then over that too girl so you can be popping you know but yeah so this is amazing and you should definitely get this brush like if you love highlight you need a fan brush like I, I love applying my highlight with fan brushes for some reason I don't I've tried other things and I just don't like them as much as I like the fan brush so if you love highlight I would give one of these brushes a try the last and final brush that I um, go I'm going to show today is the M432 and this is one of my favorite brushes that I have purchased and the reason being is because I am an eyebrow whore too. Highlighting eyebrows like oh my gosh life. But yeah anyways so I love this brush because when I am using it I just get my little concealer you know get a little concealer action going and I will go right here in this area and just kind of carve all that out so that I can make sure that my brow is good and clean on the bottom and then when I'm done I flip it you know to the side where you know it's more surface area and I'll go up on the top and do my eyebrows like so trace around until they are to the desired look that I have but yeah this brush is amazing um MAC has a brush just similar to this one um obviously this one's going to be a lot cheaper and I feel like it probably does just the same um, of a job I have not used the one by MAC so I don't want to say that it's better um but I love this brush. I don't see the reason for me needing the MAC one at the moment um, because I'm really loving this one thus far. It's really, really great. But yeah, this is the last brush. I'm just going to hold all of them back up again just so I can kind of do another little, you know, sh showing for you guys. So these are all of the brushes and they're so pretty full and pretty but yeah um so these are all the brushes and all the palettes um like i said before i will leave everything links down below along with the prices if you're interested oh also when i purchased mine i don't know if i said this already or not i probably did um but i use patrick stars code um i don't remember what the code was but if you go to his um if you go to one of his morphe um videos or something like that it should have it in his description box but i used that code and it gave me like 20 no not 25 i'm lying $15 off um so it brought my total down a lot because it was about 140 something dollars that i paid for all of this stuff which is very good in my personal opinion but i mean hey um so yeah i will link everything below as i said before and i hope this video was extremely helpful for you guys um i hope that you guys go to their website and purchase lots of things and that you love the things that you purchase it's as much as i loved mine um, I would definitely recommend them to anybody, especially whether you are a, you know, new to makeup, a pro at makeup, expert, whatever. Like their stuff is really nice and it's very good quality and it's very, very inexpensive. So if you have any other questions regarding anything that I purchased today or just any other questions, please feel free to leave them below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.